Hi everybody, it's Chris the Alphanet here, and uh, if you're new to the channel, then I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you consider subscribing too. But um, if you could leave me a like down there, that'd be brilliant, and if you want to leave me a comment as well, more the merrier. So, before I go any further, I'd just like to apologise for all the errors in my last video, which was supposed to be a real-world review of the 1.9 JTDM Alfa Romeo 159. Hmm, except that it wasn't a 1.9 JTDM, was it Chris? No, it was a 2.0-litre JTDM with 170 bhp, which is a very different engine indeed. <coughs> so, sorry about that. I shouldn't have used anecdotal facts and I should have checked out the proper spec of the car before I went accusing it of only having 135 bhp. But sadly these things happen when you are A. Rushing because you are behind schedule. Or B. You're a freaking idiot. Freaking idiot! So, seeing as this is 8 acts in 8 minutes and I've already wasted a minute apologising, we'd better get on with it. So you may remember the first Hacks video that I released a little while ago which featured the GT and had a great reaction from a lot of people, some of whom actually own a GT but didn't realise some of the cool things that it could do. So heads up if you own an Alpha 159 because today we're going to look at what sneaky little secrets the 159 has been hiding all this time. Okay so here are eight obscure features of the Alfa Romeo 159 which are all probably mentioned somewhere deep in the handbook. But let's face it, a real man doesn't read that, right? Hack number one. Remote window drop. Wait a minute, you're thinking. I know all about this one. When the car is locked and you press the unlock button on your remote, the car will drop all four windows fully if you continue to hold down the unlock button. However, in typical Alpha fashion, and because of the dreaded health and safety lobby, holding down the lock button will not make the windows close again, in case you trap an important part of your body. <gasps> so you have to raise all the windows again manually. Or do you? Well no, in fact the 159 has a little trick up its sleeve here. In fact, if you pull out the little emergency manual key from the remote control fob, there it is, and you insert that into the driver's door and turn clockwise to lock and then carry on holding in that position. Hey presto! All four windows will go back up again. Now I did hear that you can ask your local alpha dealer to program this feature back into your remote control but don't get mad with me if they say no. Hack number two. Activating deadlocks. Did you know that your 159 has deadlocks? Unless you're in some EU countries such as France. Sorry France. Simply press the lock button on your remote twice to activate. These deadlocks, once activated by the remote, will prevent the doors being opened from outside, or even inside the car, without the remote being used to unlock again. Hey presto, you can't get out! Oh dear, did you leave the keys outside Chris? Mm, it's going to be a long night. Hack number three. Air conditioned gloves. The sneaky little central console on the 159 hides not just one, but two secrets. First of all, there are two storage areas inside. The small top part, and a bigger compartment below for items such as drinks cans. The second sneaky trick is that this compartment is actually air conditioned too. Pop in your drinks can, wait a short while and then enjoy a tasty cold beverage. Mm. No Chris, not beer. Hack number four. Do you have arms like an umpa lumpa? Alfa Romeo armrests are rightly famous for having some head scratchingly strange features and the 159 is no exception, with a central armrest which slides forward in case your arms happen to be as short as an action man. <laughs> 
Hack number five, disengaging the steering lock. Here is a great example of a feature which I'm struggling to think of a good use for. Take your key fob and push it into the slot on the dash and then immediately pull it out again. Congratulations, you have just disengaged the steering lock and it will not engage again until the next time you take the key out of the ignition. Um, yeah, super. Kind of. Hack number six. Headlight follow me home feature. This feature is also seen on the GT and several other Alphas and can be really useful. When arriving home in the dark, if you flash the headlights shortly after switching off the ignition, the headlights will stay on for 30 seconds before switching off automatically. You can add another 30 seconds to the time they stay on every time you flash the lights, up to a maximum of 3 minutes. Cool! Hack number 7. Now this hack is actually a really useful one, especially if you need to sneak off to the pub without the wife hearing you go. Unlocking the boot and then quickly unlocking the rest of the car opens everything up without the annoying giveaway beep. Just don't forget to close the boot before you drive off. Hack number 8. Killing the dash lighting for a surprise ninja attack. If you happen to be driving at night on your way to a sword battle at the headquarters of your rival ninja gang and you need the element of surprise, then simply hold down the little dinner button and POW! Sock! The dash lights go out, leaving just the speedo illuminated. Ha <laughs> ha! They'll never know what hit them. 